Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be talking you through and showing you how to take pictures to send to agencies if you're applying to be a model or if you're already a model and want tips on how to take really good digitals or polaroids. These are just really basic photos that agency usually take of you to keep your profile updated um, and just showing what you look like from different angles, full lengths, close ups, um, just really stripped back and natural. So I had to take these photos at home quite recently to send to my modelling agency just to keep them updated with how I'm looking, kind of the length of my hair. They just like to update them regularly so that they can send them to clients and things like that. So I've got a couple of little tips and tricks and do's and don'ts that I'm going to talk through and I've also got the photos um, that I took at home that I'll show on the screen as well as examples. But hopefully this video helps any of you who are applying to agencies. These are really good tips on how to make your photos the best they possibly can be um, and to show you in the most natural way but also a professional way. Okay, so the first tip I've got is the lighting. The lighting can really affect how your images will turn out. You want to make sure you have really good natural lighting. Um, so if you're planning to shoot these images indoors, make sure you're near a window or a really good place that has nice natural lighting, like even natural lighting. So I'd say make sure you have the window in front of you instead of behind you. Because if the window and the light is coming through behind you, you're going to look really backlit um, and your images might look quite dark and not the best quality they can be, whereas if the light's coming from in front of you, it will highlight all your features really nicely and the light should look really even. Or alternatively, you can shoot outdoors like I did. You can shoot in sunlight, you just want to make sure it doesn't look too harsh. I'll insert a picture of when I was trying out the lighting for my photos. So first of all, I tried it in the sunlight as I thought I'd try and take advantage of the sunlight and it can be really nice natural lighting. But as you can see from the images, it just looked way too harsh. Um, it wasn't showing the features on my face clearly and there was weird shadows so I decided to move to a shaded area that was still in quite an open space so that there was a lot of light shining on me. You want to make sure with the lighting you have you can see all your features clearly. That's the first tip, make sure that there is good lighting where you plan on shooting. My second tip is the background. You want to make sure your background is super neutral and plain. If you have any kind of white plain walls in your house that is really good background. White is a really good nice just clean colour behind you. Especially if you have on a black outfit it will really make you stand out. I'll insert a picture of the setup kind of I did. So I just used plain white bed sheets and hung them over the clothesline in my garden. I do have like some plain white walls in my house as you can see. But the lighting is just not right in my room. I have these spotlights um, and there's one above me now. I don't know if you can tell where there's kind of weird shadows on my face. The lighting just worked out better outside. And although there were kind of shadows on the white sheets, I kind of just tried to avoid them patches. If you have a lot of coloured walls in your house, you can try and hang up just plain white bed sheets and that should work as a really good background. Okay, the third tip I've got is the angles you're supposed to show. I did a video for Models 1 demonstrating the angles you should show if you're sending a kind of casting video to an agency um, and I'll link that below if I can. But you should show some basic angles. Make sure you have a variety of full length and closer up images. So full length you want to be just kind of straight on certain degrees to the side and then you want to make sure you show profile as well. So standing straight to the left and straight to the right. And then you also want to do closer up. So like a headshot kind of cropping it from here just so it's really tight on your face and you can see your features. And then again to the side so you can see your profiles. So you might want someone to help you take these photos. My mum actually helped me take the photos that you're seeing on the screen. Um, because it's just a lot easier than doing self timer and she can kind of take a lot in one go and then I can just choose the best ones out of the bunch we got. Yeah, you just want to make sure you're showing every angle of yourself. The fourth tip I've got is your outfit. I'm going to do a whole separate video on casting outfit ideas so they're kind of outfits that would be really good to wear to castings or the agency and this kind of goes for these pictures as well. So you want to make sure you have on something really simple um, 
try to avoid patterns like this I wouldn't wear because it's quite patterned um, and it can distract whoever's looking at the images from me. I just wore a plain black kind of sports crop and a plain black score. Neutral colours, blacks, whites, beiges are kind of good colours to wear. Make sure you're wearing something that also shows your figure. Try not to wear anything too oversized. Good ideas are just kind of plain black vest tops or plain black long sleeve tops, short sleeve tops um, that are quite figure hugging. Maybe a pair of black shorts, a black denim skirt, trousers. So yeah, that's what I'd say about outfit. Just keep it really simple and make sure you're not wearing anything too baggy and oversized. I forgot what number I'm on, <laughs> but the next tip I'd say is kind of to do with your face and your hair. So you want to make sure you're wearing as minimal makeup as possible. Just keep it super natural and stripped back. If you need to wear makeup, just maybe a bit of concealer, but you want to show your most natural self. And again, with your hair, just keep it natural how it normally is. If you've got longer hair or big hair, you can show it both ways. So maybe put it in front of you and around your face for one of them. And then for the others, maybe keep it behind your ears just so you can see like the full structure of your face. And also if you've got long hair, you can do some with it tied back again so you can see more of your face. If it tends to kind of fall in front of your face or cover your face in the images. I'll insert pictures of mine. I did kind of all the different options. Some of my hair was on my shoulders and then I flicked it behind. And then for the last few, I kind of held it as if it was tied back. Another tip is to take into consideration the quality of your photos. You want the best quality photos you can produce. If you've got a digital camera at home, that's great. You can use that. I took some on this camera I'm filming on because I knew it would be better quality than an iPhone camera. But also iPhones nowadays have quite good cameras as well and like phone cameras are quite good. Just make sure everything's in focus. I started off using my iPhone camera, just taking quite a few at a time so that I could keep checking them and making sure the angles were right and the lighting was good. And then when I found a kind of certain pose or a certain angle or when I thought the lighting was at its best, I'd ask my mum to take some on this camera so you can always switch between both of them and then pick the best ones at the end and also I know these photos can be quite serious so you can always add ones that show your personality I'll insert one here of when I brought my dog into the photo shoot it's nice to have photos of you smiling but of course like the standard ones are just a natural relaxed face but it doesn't hurt to add some that show your personality either. And the last tip I can think of is to not edit or add filters to your photos before you send them. You just want to keep them as natural as possible. Just kind of keep the raw images and send them. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hoped it helped anyone who wanted some tips on how to take these sort of images. And also for any models that are like working from home, taking Polaroids at home or any new models. As I said, make sure you stay tuned to see the casting outfits videos, and I've also got a lot more videos in store for this channel. If you have any suggestions on what you want me to film next, just let me know on Instagram. Yeah, good luck with your photos if you're taking them, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!